In Sadong, one of the most culturally abundant streets in Seoul, is known for best representing Korean traditional culture and crafts. The street is a hub of anything Korean, with stores selling a range of souvenirs like Korean traditional clothing hanbok, traditional paper hanji, and pottery. This is one of the reasons why the area is always bustling with foreigners looking for a piece of Korea to take back home. We are teaching in Bundong, and a few of our friends that have been in Korea for a while, they told us that this is a nice part of town where you can find more traditional souvenirs. I'm actually not familiar with it. We don't have it where I come from, but I think it's beautiful. During the Joseon dynasty, the street was lined with art schools, and today the neighborhood still remains as a center for the arts. Painters, craftsmen, and art lovers crowd in Sadong with their unique artworks, and various events to promote Korean traditional culture and arts are held along the street. And in celebration of this year's three-day Chuseok holiday, the 2010 INSA Art Fair kicked off on September 20th. Throughout this week, the streets of Insa Dong will become a giant gallery of Korean traditional arts and crafts. For seven days, the works of some 100 artists will be on display at 14 different galleries in this neighborhood. This is the first year for the event, and the organizers say they wanted to host an event to keep those from abroad entertained during the Chuseok holiday. And what better way is there than to offer a little dose of Korean culture? The core of the INSA Art Fair 2010 is to introduce the beauty of Korean ceramics. Ceramics make up a huge part of East Asian culture, and it is believed that ceramics in Japan and Korea have their roots in that of China. Each country has a distinct and unique style, and Korean ceramics is known for maintaining its continuous tradition of simple earthenware from about 8000 BC. Japan has a beautiful and 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 beautiful. At various galleries around Insadong, each artist has an exhibition around 30 pieces of their works. Some works were reminiscent of ceramics from the Korea dynasty, which are regarded as the country's finest achievements. Elegant patterns of white cranes and clouds decorating the surface of the jade blue body of the vase were enough to draw the attention of the visitors. Although some works by the artists are marked with high prices, as high as 30 million won or around 25,800 US dollars, there were also affordable, usable ceramic pieces. Drinking tea is an essential part of Korean culture, and the tea ceremony cannot proceed without having the proper wares. Ceramic tea sets are not only beautiful to look at, but since teapots and cups are something frequently used in our daily lives, they are viewed as instruments that will effectively introduce Korean traditional culture to foreigners. We are preparing the works of the artist's work in the direction of the artist. We are preparing the works of the also part of the INSA Art Fair 2010 was an exhibition of Korean lacquered art. Korea is believed to have adopted the artistic process of applying refined tree sap to objects for improving its durability in the 3rd century. And today, Korean lacquerwares are widely used as household items. Decorated with patterns of blossoming flowers, butterflies or even dragons, 
the design motifs of the works vary from one artist to another. To accommodate the users of lacquerware objects today, the artisans have adjusted the size of their furniture pieces to suit smaller rooms and lower ceilings of apartments in Korea. 저희 나라 전칠 기법을 사용한 그 화장 대겸 문갑이라고 보시면 됩니다. 여성분들이 많이 쓸수 있고 어, 대신에 전통적인 기법은 그대로 이용을 하고요. 디자인이나 그런 건 어, 좀, 좀 젊으신 분들에 맞게. The finest selection of works by the Korean lacquer artisans are on display, and each work reflected the values and ideals of the artists of the beautiful objects. 전시에 둘러보러 왔는데요. 어, 많은 사람들의 정성이 다 고스란히 다 느껴져서 예, 어, 정말 하나쯤 갖고 싶은 가구들이 많네요. 예. This year's Insa Art Fair, which will come to a close on September 26, have brought together the artists and lovers of Korean traditional arts and crafts to Insadong, where they work on introducing the traditional beauty of Korea.